examiner sits in your car and asks you to drive, I want to see that you are driving safely and to see your neck movement. You can simply go forward and then start and driving instead of just looking around backward and going backward. It will just make the starting point of your exam easier. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I recently got my full G driver's license here in Ontario and in this video I wanted to share my experiences and give you some tips. A little backstory. I got my first driver's license back in Ukraine in 2013, uh, so about 10 years ago. Wow. And uh, before coming to uh, Ontario, Canada, I have been living in different European countries in the past seven or so years. So I did not have to drive every single day there. I heard that in Ontario here, uh, even in seasonal drivers who drove much more frequently in their home and countries have to give that full G driver's exam multiple times. Uh -oh. and, uh, of course, I got a little bit anxious about that because I didn't know what to expect. So I passed my knowledge test or G1 exam as I explained in this video. I got about a month, a month and a half before I uh, had my full G exam. So I took the lessons with a driving instructor to learn more about drivers and habits and just in general driving environment here in Ontario. Because of my driver's experience, I wasn't qualified to go directly from G1 knowledge test to G, full G exam. So I did not have to give the basic G2 exam. So after that uh, practice, I got in quite confident driving here, but still I felt some fear because I did not want to give exam multiple times right? until uh, hopefully I could pass in one go. So fast forward, I passed my full G driver's exam in one go and I even got some insights from the uh, examiner. So uh, I want to share with you what they are looking for during the exam. Exam goes as following. Uh, at first, you register at the driving school, either at the desk or at the self-checking machine. Then you go back to your car and to wait for the instructor. Then you sit in your car and the instructor goes around the car and asks you to turn on the lights, brake slides, you know, the uh, right, left and signal and, and so on to see that all the lights and indicators work and it is actually unsafe to drive that car. They ask you to, to try the horn, so you just make a short beep if everything will work. Then uh, you basically start the exam. Before the exam started, examiner told me and, uh, I want to quote it, so I will convey the message directly. During this exam, I want you to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to help the YouTube algorithm. Okay, that's not what examiner told me, but I would really appreciate if you could give a like to this video and then subscribe to the channel. So what instructor told me is that during the exam, I want to see that you are driving safely and to see your neck movement. Wow. So essentially these two things mean the same thing. that they want to see that you are a safe road user and you are aware of your surroundings, right? You drive a vehicle on a potentially high speed to avoid any accidents. You cannot control other drivers, but uh, you can be aware of your surroundings and try to drive safe. You can do that. Uh, you will pass your full G exam in one go. Actually, driving during the exam went really fast in about 10 and maximum 15 minutes. Wow. And it went all really nice and smooth. Uh, I passed my exam, but uh, what I'm to share now is the tips yeah. that actually helped me to pass this exam in one go. So tip number one, and especially in careful about the pedestrians, just look 
twice or even three times around especially in the parking lots where you expect to see pedestrians it can give you automatic fail potentially put someone's life in danger next consider parking the car in a way that you can start exam by going forward for example if uh, you park uh, in a car in, in a backward bay parking then whenever examiner sits in your car and asks you to drive you can simply go forward and then start and driving instead of just looking around backward and going back it will just make the starting point of your exam easier okay, that's tip number two um next tip yeah and of course remember to always check your blind spots it is a really potentially dangerous situation and where you can not really see any cars in the mirrors if you look around the car could be just besides you you know to avoid any accidents again to be aware of your surroundings as a driver check blind spots so that's it for today's video. I hope it was useful and I wish you good luck in passing your driver's exam, be it G2 or the full G exam. Subscribe to the channel to help me to make more videos like that. And then let me know in the comments below if there is anything unclear or you would like any clarification. Good luck and see you next time.